Land. This is your friend Dan O, and I've got something great for you. Well, I think it's great. I don't know. Maybe it's not great, but it's great for me. <laughs> I got a one on Wednesday, and so happens to be in a box. Uh, Lexington KY, and that's not the jelly. That's the state KY Kentucky. Yes. Let's see where uh, what we got, and it's from EBB EB. Ebay Bay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I can tell you already. I think I know what this is. Um, this is uh, on the quest of my um, uh, trying to get a model from every toy manufacturer that made a model of Land Rover. This is what I'm trying to do. Um, uh-oh, missteps with state loans for child. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, avoid them. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I I don't know. It's always been a goal of mine to do a Guinness Book of World Records. And uh, at my age now, it physically is not going to be a physical feat. But it could be uh, over and about my um, over 20-year uh, collection of Land Rovers. And... Uh, well, this is what it's going to be. Let's check it out. Ba-bam! Oh, look at this little bugger. Oh, yeah, let's get this out. Let's get this out. What in the world do we have here? This tiniest, small Ziploc bag you ever saw in the world, huh? All right, all right, here we go. Yes! Get it in focus, folks. Yeah, get it in focus. What do we have here? Yeah, we'll probably zoom in a little bit. Maybe that's what we need. Yeah, we need to zoom in a little bit. All right. And <laughs> this this small, you're just going to see my, my fingers. That's it, my thumbs. Wow, look at this beauty. Look at this thing here, huh? Yeah, this is glorious. This is grand. This is a Series 1, 109. Uh, no, 107. 107. Uh, wheelbase and ba bam it is an EKO made in Spain yes made in Spain uh, Wowzer 186 scale boy it tells you everything you need Land Rover made in Spain and EKO I'm not sure if that's uh, pronounced echo eco ikayo <laughs> e -E but there you go very simplistic. Let's talk a little bit about um, this Echo brand. Or it's a micro toy. Obviously, it's a micro toy. It does just a little bitty bugger. Uh, and I'm not really sure. Toy Echo. Toy Echo. Uh, T O Y. And usually the packaging, if they have any packaging, T O Y. And then different font and color, K-E-K-O, K-O. So I'm not sure if uh, Toyoko is the uh, full pronunciation or, or uh, what of the, the, uh, the company. But uh, yeah, you can see that their logo there and uh, everything. So anyway, made in Spain, they, they do um, H-O. H O and H O scale is for um, model railroads. That's uh, one of the most popular um, uh, scales for railroading is H O. So this would be an H O scale. It's nice that the top beacon is a different color than um, the windshield. Usually they do the windshield. They just pop it out there. Uh, I thought that windshield was kind of um, not all the way forward, but it's so thick that you can see the uh, thickness of it because <laughs> it matches. It meets, meets right up to the uh, front windshield frame. Boy, that, that tire is perched right up there. What's that license plate say? Uh, MC55? I wonder if that's the model number. That is something else. Look at the details on this little bugger. Yeah, that is that is very nice. I think you can almost see the Land Rover. Yeah, in the grill. 
Now this is all plastics except for obviously the steel uh, uh, axles, but this is all plastic. This is, uh, I believe, two parts. Uh, snaps there on the back, and I believe that's kind of like a, a mushroom pivot there in the front. And uh, just a very unique little thing. Um, different kind of uh, rear hatch to it there. But uh, not too bad at details. You know, if you put some null oil on there or some black wash, you could probably get more of that details to pop out there. But you can see the uh, doors. Yeah, you can see the old slab side of the 107 on that one, the Series 1. Yeah, slab sides on that. Oh, I, oh that is just so awesome. Not so correct on the roof. Didn't the uh, slab sides have uh, ribs on the top? Boy, I, I don't remember now. We can get back into focus here. Um, but yeah, it's got my fingerprints on it already. I see that. <laughs> of course, the tires, uh, I guess that uh, one on the hood is different than the one that's on the... On it? No, I guess it could be the same one. Could be the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. But uh, tractor style type tread on there. Kind of like the old Land Rovers used to have. But a very interesting back end. Oh, sorry, we were interrupted there. Uh, very interesting window combination for the back end. Looks like it probably has the lower tailgate and then the upper uh, tailgate that uh, folds. I don't know which way that folds, but it folds. Wait a minute, is that, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Look at this, this thing has a, a working part to it, unbelievable, I think that's supposed to go down, yeah, that looks like it kind of goes down, doesn't it? Well, I got it to go down a little bit if it's not supposed to, I mean, there's, there's uh, pivot points there. You can see that they're, let's get in frame, pivot points right here. Look at that. Pins in there. Yeah, that is something else. But boy, yeah, I got to get the razor blade in there to kind of work that down a little bit. But uh, yeah, that that is a uh, working little part. Wow, wow. That, <laughs> wow. Anyway, so um, I gave like $12.99 for this thing. That's in shipping included, uh, as far as I know. And uh, just, uh, like I say, this is kind of a... Uh, I had to have it because I didn't have one. That's what it's kind of like. <laughs> the old Echo. And uh, they came out with, I guess, six different models. Look at how small the... Uh, the front bumper is on that. Just the nice details, you know, for such a small part. But, you know, it's plastic, so they can get kind of carried away with that, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, very, very kind of cool. Um, wow, yeah. This is just a neat little truck. Just the neatest little truck. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, some of my other little trucks that I've got. Just on the way out here, this is another one. I, You know what? This might be... No, this is Mini Cars. Uh, Cam Pro. This is made in, in uh, Spain as well. But this is also... Uh, this is really warped. <laughs> but same design. Wow. This is like the same design. Just a little bit more detail. But you see, it's got the... Uh, rear uh part there too that is really interesting i'm just gonna poke at it a little bit no oh, it's not gonna move because i think it's so warped <laughs> i wonder if they just kind of borrowed it but this two-piece um two-piece wheels just a really kind of what it wait a minute let's see if we can zoom in that this is all about the echo but let's see what yeah this is the same casting Look at that, it's got the same. Can you believe that? That's the same thing. They just, uh, wow, look at that. But it's a different manufacturer, so they must have bought that from them or something. But uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. 
Uh, the only other HO um, uh, car that I have is this one here, and this is the uh, HEPA uh, Germany. Uh, I think that's how you say that. But anyway, the Range Rover made in Germany. The Har Harpo. Uh, we got to zoom in here and look now. Uh, yes. Hepro, Hepro, that's what it is. Hepro. I can, I kind of always forget. But anyway, so there you go. Uh, wow, what a Wednesday. This is what we got. Very cool little piece. Do you got any of these? Yeah, are you into railroad? HO railroad? Oh, man, that is cool. Well, I got another one checked off the list for, um, for my uh, pursuit in... Uh, trying to get a casting from every, um, whoa, turn the lights on there. I can't get it to now not stop doing that. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Thank you for joining me. Come on over to Facebook. Uh, that's Roverland and, uh, Instagram Roverland channel. And, uh, tell me what you got. Is this the coolest little thing or what? <laughs> All right, this is your friend Dano, and as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.